Hello everybody, and welcome to the latest Worlds of ZZT livestream. It's another happy ZZT Sunday, and we've got a lot of action games today, for the most part. Before we start, thank you for the 100 bits, TGH. It's, it's action day. And Sunday. ZZT Action Sunday, that's what we've got today. And we've just got, you know, an assortment of strange games, uh... At the very bottom of this list is one I actually uploaded the other day, and originally I was going to stream it Friday before playing Dave 2's new Freelance Dungeon game. But then I played it for a minute and realized, no. <laughs> and we're not going to play the whole thing today either. But it was the Ides of March, and I felt that uploading the Ancient Roman Trivia game would be appropriate for them. But we'll take a peek at it real quick. Other than that, it's, you know, the usual. There's a game. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> I mean, if you're playing the ZZT drinking game, as I was about to say, one of these games, and it's that one, is a game with Barney in it. And we've got an X-Men fan game. And we've got a Contra fan game. And then we got something called X, which even though it's a demo, is like 50 boards, so I'm saving that one for last. But the only the only way out is through, so let's, uh... More games with worse graphics and more titles. It's really good when you spell your game's name wrong. It's, it's just like my favorite thing. Let's see what we've got, though. Let's get right to this great, great Roman trivia. Jacques Bucard. It's easy tea made by the great Tim Sweeney. Give me a tea. Give me an R, give me an I. Oh, this is cute. I didn't actually watch this animation even though I played this for a minute. What is that spell? Trivia! Y'all ready for some great trivia? this music. Is this what they played at the Coliseum? Alright, we're gonna jump in, because we ain't, we ain't finishing this one. Welcome to my trivia game. We'll get right down to business. Love it. Go in whatever direction you wish. Having 1,000 score to start with, the higher the stakes, the tougher the question. For a question, you touch the question marks. If you get it wrong, you will lose points, so be careful. If you lose too many times, there will be no questions left to ask, and you lose. To win, score 3,500 points or more, and touch the note above you. So, how we... How we feeling about Roman trivia, everybody? Do we all know this stuff? Remember, like, our, our middle school history classes? We are locked in the 25-point room. Look at all these questions. Look at this layout. Answer the right question, and the Yellow Guardian will let you free. Okay, so one of these questions is the important question, and we don't know which. I'm gonna guess it's the one, like, left of here that's kind of locked away behind another one. And we've got this great system. For 25 points, define Republic. System of government in which citizens have the right to vote to choose their leaders. A system of government run by some hairy Neanderthal with a huge club. A system of government ruled by a king or queen. A system of government where every citizen gathers to vote on choices. Oh, look at this little flash. The victory flash. Does it do this if we get them wrong? Ooh, president of the Latin club. Okay. I played... Like, a minute of this, like I was saying, and after, like, three or four of these, I began to not know the answers. And this is the easiest category, so I'm really curious. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if these questions were sourced from something like that, because they seem to go a little bit, I'm assuming, with this many, that they're going to go, like, a bit beyond what you would teach middle, high school students. And I just don't feel like this is going to be the kind of thing that a college student would make in ZZT. What's a pleb? Member of the upper class of nobles and wealthy merchants. Member of the class of common people in ancient Rome. 
class of students and one teacher. The lowest class of ancient Rome, mostly slaves and non-citizens. Is it... See, now I'm already second-guessing myself. I hate doing this in front of people. The game just called me stupid, because I was doubting myself. Oh, and it marks it as wrong. Huh, I swore I was getting multiple choices. Hello! Hope you enjoy some great Roman trivia. Okay. Uh, did we lose points? I wasn't paying close enough attention. I guess we got one right and one wrong, and we're at 1,000, so I think we do lose points. Let me go in deep here, because I think the one to the left here. Define the D value. What does that have to do with Rome? Make something more valuable, so valuable, in fact, that its value actually goes so high as to enter past the positive range of numbers and go into the negative end, back into the positive as a smaller number than it actually began as. What made you write that? This seems so elaborate. To deface a sacred object, usually religious. To lower the value of items such as coins or to take one's citizenship away. I would assume coins in this case. But did it begin begin as a religious thing? Okay. Got my 25 points. Yeah, integer overflow in ancient Rome was a common problem. Where did ancient Rome begin its civilization? Saturn. Also, I hate the formatting of this one, two, three, four thing. I'm con I'm like immediately second guessing myself as to if this means Spain or Italy and have to like dedicate brain cycles that could be used towards thinking about ancient Rome. So this one's Italy. I did not answer the magic question though. How many Punic Wars were there? See, I don't know this. Probably not that many though. I don't think about the Roman Empire enough. Well, I would say more in recent times than in the past. It's that it's that Street Fighter 6. It's got the that Marissa lady who's basically a Roman Empire addict and she will beat you. And you get to fight in the Colosseum. I think there's 3. 3 seems like a good number of Punic Wars to have. Nope, I'm stupid. This is not looking good for my high scores. Yeah, it's doing that, too. The one, two, two, three. Like every every early 2000s Who Wants to Be a Millionaire parody. A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. How about the corner here? Ancient Rome divided its foreign land into... A chaotic mess of this organization that was totally useless in every possible way. Provinces? No, foreign land. Territories, I think. Ah, see, this one's letting me answer again. No, it's not. It was just a different you suck message. Which of the following things didn't thrive during the Pax Romana? Oh, good. Finally, one I can be confident about. I'm assuming it's the giant mutant aquatic snails? I'm not complaining, that's for sure. Where did a child's education begin? School, the streets, private tutor, or at home? Did they have public schools? I'm gonna say they're, they're still getting homeschooled here. Yeah. Alright, you get the idea. Also, yes, uh, should be on the streets. Let me just try this last one, because it is right by the dude. Okay, good. You can also... You can back out of these. 
Welcome back. What product was imported from India? Small flightless waterfowl for the King's Private Shooting Guard. I like when they have fun with these. CZT edutainment games really are, like, always incredible. Every one of them I love so much. Well, there's even one that I made that's on the museum now. It's not good, but none of them really are. Uh... I mean... I know they got ivory there. See, I almost picked this one as ivory. Not that it mattered. Let me out, man. Come on. Four is usually a joke answer. Define inflation. The act of blowing up a balloon really big and letting it go. Just watch in sheer fascination as it blows around the room. Economic cycle in which an increase in the money supply results in an increase in prices. Economic cycle which an increase in the population results in an increase in the demand for food. Demand for public maintenance. Wait. Now in this case, this is one text below, two text below. That's changing. That's not consistent even. Right? Am I going crazy here? Uh, where are the where are the fertile lands of Italy? South, north, the top right, bottom half, or west? South? No, this one's south. Ugh. All right, again, this is the 25 pointers. We're going to poke around. I have I've gained 25 points after all that. That's where I'm at. Let's dabble in here for a minute. What's a 50 point? Oh, this is a Oh, I'm not trapped in this one. That's good. It's it's always nice to be able to stop answering Roman trivia. Families of ancient Rome were encouraged to be large, small, or relatively large. I, I bet good little boys and girls is true. You know what? Do you have a funny message for me? No, you don't. Ooh, what made the conspirators kill Julius Caesar? Okay. I, I have read my Shakespeare in high school. They had nothing better to do. Some might say that. Really? Yeah, they, they were jealous of that, man. That's right. Oh, the first Punic War. Conan and Hercules fought. Carthage and the Chains in... Carthage and Rome? Nice. Those two, they're always going at it. Roman family the father had no practical use, absolute power, great power, or little power. This seems... Hmm. Is it going to be great or absolute? You know, I have read the Odyssey. That's Greek, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Never mind. I'll go with absolute. Absolutely correct. Hang on. Roman laundry. Like, where is this kid getting these questions from? And these answers? Ah, uh, I think this is the wool era. And why are these ones so much easier than the 25 pointers? When Romans sprinkle in their hair to make it look fair. Sugar. Diamonds. Gold. Ivory.
They seem like little dust MFers. Oh man, I'm on a hot streak now. After Antony and Cleopatra were defeated, they flew, well, I don't think they flew to Egypt, and built the first McDonald's. I think they went for revenge. No, they didn't. Okay, there goes the streak. What was Octavian named after that the Senate realized that peace depended on him? The really cool dude. Uh, Supreme Ruler? Nope, I'm the only one to ever get that one wrong. This isn't a good study tool. Because when I get these wrong, I don't learn what the answer is for the future. I just get... I just get insulted. I drop, drop out of this history class and I change majors. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Why is it just no? Why is it sad? I feel like I shouldn't be answering these questions now. Oh, why is this one 75 points? Victory. There's giant slugs again. What are... What's the deal with the giant slugs? Uh, wait, no. Okay, so yeah. Great cost. Great. What country was the first peanut war centered on? Sicily? Yeah. Yeah, the spelling is also a bit odd in places. How would the children of ancient Rome learn oratory? The ludus publicus. Their parents are teaching by listening to public debates. They're pounding their head against the wall seven or eight times and they got one wrong when they were studying with their parents. Is it in the ludus? No, that's stupid. What effect did a wash with caustic soap have on hair? I mean, that sounds like a bad thing to put in your hair. Is that why my mental image of Roman dudes is they're all bald? No? Okay, it wasn't because of their, their hair care routine. Let's go for... Actually, this one's locked away. Let's go for the the tough one to reach. After the Battle of Zama, what were the peace terms agreed on? Become better citizens by eating tons of peanuts. Uh, let's say you need Rome's consent to wage war. That's right. Y'all, I'm sorry for everybody. I was all like, hey, we're going to play some unpreserved action games today, and now you're just getting 20 minutes of Roman trivia. Who originally said the quote, Carthage must be destroyed? Puffins, the talking cat. I bet it was Cato. Yeah. That guy, he just had it out for them. All right, one more from this category or section. I don't believe that their civilization was all of the above, frankly. Favored and blessed by the gods. I feel like it's got to be that, more so than them being the only civilized ones. Nope. I was wrong. All right, let's see what what this game considers the most challenging questions of all. Oh, why are there there's two right here? How many teams were the charioteers organized into? Oh, 
four. What class of people were usually char charioteers? The plebs. Oof. What type of people found in Rome? Old people, Indo-Europeans, the Greek, and the Latins. Um... Yeah. Thank you, Author Blues. I appreciate it. Rome schools were available to... I bet you need money. Yeah, you too. How is the decline of Rome... Ooh, how is the decline of Rome? Like the decline of America? What year was this? Hola. We've we've got something here. I can't wait to scroll this down. We spend great amounts of money on unimportant things and ignore taxes. We are trapped in inflation. People from all over the world are coming for a share of the riches. All of the above. Two tenths of the above. Hold up. It is. It's all of the above. What on earth? What was imported from China? Uh... Silks and spices? No, wait. This one is silks and spices, because you can't keep this consistent. All right, as long as you don't ask me about, like, chariots, I'm apparently a Roman expert here. Oh, like, 100%. Like, as soon as I saw what those options were, I'm like, ah, yes, this is a... This is a kid whose dad is, like, listening to talk radio and just very angry about Bill Clinton. Just furious at the man. One popular hairstyle of ancient Rome was curled around the ears... A big lightning bolt shape, that would have been cool. Okay, um... Well, we know... They they really like their hair care. I bet they're braiding it. No, they're not. What happened in the years 133 BC to 44 BC? I knew just as soon as it gave me a date range, I'm like, it's going to be the Punic Wars, isn't it? Everyone fell into a magical sleep. Terrible revolts course through Rome. Uh, which one is Punic? Is that two or three in this case? This case it is two. Nope, it's not those wars. Was it the lightning bolt? I should have known. What helped trade? Tax machines. Uh, no, I'm not muted. For once in my life, I am not muted. It feels good to, to be on the right side of history for a change. Everybody in chat defending my honor. Sorry, TGH. I've got the upper hand today. Coined money. Uh, not commonly jobs of the poorer Roman citizens. Selling canned spinach on the streets? How dare you? Alright, well then surely weren't the merchant class. Yeah. Love to X. I love watching Twitch on the Steam Deck on TV and having like 30 different ways in which I may have muted things at any given moment. Blinded Rome to all the problems of the Roman economy during the Pax Romana. All 
I, I, big government? Nope. All right. I'm clearly not going to get enough points here. Ooh, wait, I, I know this one. Jupiter is the king of gods. Which is two in this case. Food, folks, fun, and rock. Alright. I think I'm done here. I can't. I can't do this any longer, but if somebody is daring, by all means, go through this game, find out what all these questions are, because after seeing the, the decline of America one, I bet there's a few other interesting ones in here. I had a myth course in college, and it was honestly one of the better classes I had, but it was like all the Greek stuff was super cool and fun. And all the Roman stuff we did was just not. Like, when I say I read the Odyssey, I mean, we read bits of it for that class, but late, years later, like, I kept my copy of the Odyssey and years down the road went back and read the whole damn thing. Fun, fun story. Quite epic, if you will. But I am tired of Rome here. I am done with Rome. No more Rome. I lied. I want to see what happens when you end the game. Congratulations, you are now officially smarter than me. Is there anything secret? Ooh, there's fireworks. There was going to be more. They ran out of Roman trivia. They didn't have any money for the fireworks. Okay. That was... Trivia, Ancient Rome, and you know what? It was. He wasn't lying. What a strange bit of edutainment. Now for the exact opposite, with some exciting action. I forget which of these I said I was going to do next. Uh, I think, actually, I can just go down this list, because I know X demo I want to do last, so let's just do that. Let's figure out what this whole Death Squad thing is all about. Oh. Okay, and Barney's dead already. No, he's alive. Okay, now he's dead. Well, now that he's dead, why don't I tell you how to register? Just send one dollar to Justin Reynard. And I'll send you the registered version, Death Squad 2. And, as a bonus, three other games. Please send a blank disc to. Thanks. The title screen typo is just kind of wild to me in this case. Here's, here's the thing about English. Generally speaking, when you see the letter Q, the U comes immediately after it. More often than not. No way, there's not one of these Barney games is anything but sincere. This is the Barney Death Squad. It is serious and important. It's as important as the Roman Empire in its, in its glory days before it declined like America. You are on the Death Squad ship Blood, see? You are in the Death Squad. An elite group that kills for fun and hates Barney. Better go talk to your Death Master. That is, your commander. Oh yeah, the green thing behind you is a computer. So we're all here in our little computer lab. We all hate each other. What's the Death Master have to say? I'm your Death Master, Justin. Okay, get to your computer and prepare to track him down. When we land, Squad 1 gets off and kills him. You'll be the navigator this time. Go! Okay. Getting some uh, Zardos vibes. Whirr, beep. Navigation system online. Now orbiting planet Barney. What is your command? Warp mode. Ship crashes into the planet. Everyone dies. Whoops. You can't see, but I am like excitedly doing fist pumps when I get the opportunity to crash things. 
Every time, man. Do I actually have to talk to my death man? No, okay. Landing mode. Alright, let's kick some purple ass, everybody. Slowly meander off the ship. But only two of you. And me, the navigator. Welcome to Barney Land. You go in and scout first. We'll come if you get into trouble. You may have to use your remote death gun to kill some guys. Well, see you inside. We'll see you inside. I'm Kevin, and my codename's Killer Hamster. See you inside. I'm loving this one already. Yeah. Yeah, ain't nobody was expecting these games to be played that long and this far into the future, I bet. We found Barney's equipment room. Let's take all of Barney's money and bullets. Oh, this is Baby Bop. Good for you. Eat lead, sucker. That was the that was the sound of eating lead. So is that Barney protecting his wealth? Okay, we're not gonna need that much ammo. Is Barney a protected species? I would assume. I mean, dinosaurs aren't exactly common. Alright, I think that is a sufficient amount of ammo. Oh yeah, like 100%. I think bizarre RPG maker games and like all this stuff, that would be pretty fantastic. Honestly, at some point, what I really want to do is stream like TI graphing calculator games. Because you know there's going to be good stuff in there. Can't have it. This is Okay, this is a Barney clone. Not anymore. You blow up his head with a bazooka. Boom! Ha 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 ha! That was fun. Move over Duke Nukem. Ooh, it did it. I've used graphing calculator emulators in the past. But it was always a pain because you had to like dump your own BIOS or to find a pirated copy of graphing calculator BIOS, which was not exactly in high demand compared to like the PlayStation. But I made it happen, don't you worry. I had a lot of fun making graphing calculator games in high school. It's Barney's show! Word assassination comes to mind. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't... I got a hand-me-down 83+, plus. that was my brother's. But I didn't have the cable. And seemingly none of my friends had a cable either, so everything I did, I had to actually program on the calculator itself. And I would, like, download programs and just type them in. It was rough stuff, but it was fun. I made like a little, the world's most primitive roguelike. These folks are nothing. I love you, you love die. Another fake, whoa. Whoa, these kids are shooting each other and calling me butt sucker. This might be the, the preview image for the stream. Brain. This must be the real Barney. Alright, we've got us a shoot em up engine. Oh, my ship is disintegrating. Barney is winning, actually. I just need to, like, slowly get an opening here. I think the stat limit's gotta, like, be my friends. Almost there. Oh yeah, we got a good gap coming up. This should. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I, I lost to Barney. Can you believe it? I can't believe I lost to Barney. All right. Well, now I know what to do. 
when she to immediately scoot up. Oh, with this... Got that robot. Okay, that wasn't Barney either. Why, why do I die so quickly? The core is exposed. Okay. I got him. Why are the walls blinking? Oh no, more. Use this robot to open the way. First press the up button. When you're by the sphere, press the button. Is this just a slider? This is the... oh. Oh, now it's moving? I was gonna say, the layout of these controls is like the worst thing I've ever seen. You killed Barney with the spear. Ah! Another clone, man. Ha 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 ha, get out now, or get out now, out or die. Five seconds, I'm really a bomb, and you've set me to blow. Uh-oh. You've entered, oh look at this, it's using the scroll on a board edge trick. You've entered the maze to Barney's secret hideout. Go kill him. Great. Great. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, are we gonna... Yeah, you know those tigers are gonna be. Oh. Oh, we keep hitting the stat limit. I really hope I go up here and not there. Okay, good. Barney and the boys. Da -na -na. We're freaking idiots. Da -na -na. We love Barney. Yeah! Listen to the speakers. Oh, it's a band. It's a new band. What's it called? Barney and the boys! Kill them! We have to fight their music? Uh-oh. Okay, we just have to kill the band. Barney boys. You fool, I despise you. Alright, so what this, what's the music do to us? Uh, did that actually hurt me? Okay, it did. Fair enough. So you'll finally come. I don't want to fight you, but I will. I'm going to rip your stinking purple head off, you piece of purple crap. We'll see. The Barney Dome. Ha ha ha, he he he. Barney is tough. Oh good. Okay, Barney has... Destroyed himself. And we won. My, my buddies, Spike and what was it? Something hamster? Don't stand to the east of Spike when you talk to him. That's ominous. Oh, he's going to shoot this guy. I bet. Hi, I'm Taylor, Justin's brother. I hate Barney also. Good job killing him. Hooray! This guy's not saying anything. Alright, I'll comply. I will talk to him from the south. You won, yes. Hey, there's a Barney Boy dancer. I'll kill him. He begs for his life. And we ignore their pleas. What is... is this our ship? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm spoiling the big reveal. Visible bile. You killed him. Good job. Now register to get the second game, Death Squad 2, where you get to kill anyone you want. Go around terrorizing and killing people, then kill their master. That's all I'm going to tell you. Good job. Yeah, you won. That was Death Squad. 
We've conquered the planet Barney. Honestly, one of the more playable Barney likes. Like, by a significant margin, that was one of the better ones. It wasn't absurdly long. And it wasn't just one board of shooting Barney and having him turn into a red fake. No, that's what they're called, man. They're, it's, it's a genre. Like, straight up. There are Barney likes. That's That's what it's called. There's, there's some Doom Barney likes. There's a lot of ZZT Barney likes. That's, that's just what it... That's, that's the way things are. Until, until the Barney Death Squad gets their way, I suppose. Alright. That's enough Barney. How about some X-Men? Specifically... Gambit. Number one of three. What is this music from? Is this from one of the official games? Or like a Jansen game? This is definitely from something. I don't know. But here's issue one of Gambit. We don't have any other issues. Oh, oh, that doesn't display well. Also, I'm supposed to put these back up there. Rogue. Gambit, where's the prof? Don't know, Cher. Cher? Sherry? Yeah. Well. Okay, so that was just... The, oh, oh, is this going to be one... We haven't had one of these in a while. One of these games where the author doesn't know how to, like, use touch. And so all the messages just auto-fire? Is that what we're in for here? It's been a hot minute. Oh, this looks... mean. Ooh, we're super locked, too. So these must be Magneto's evil centipedes. Yeah, Final Fantasy II is like the definitive example of that. Especially just, just because it has this author like making a plea for help. Like, hey, if you know why this is happening, please tell me. Come to New Orleans or the professor dies. Thanks, Victor Creed, Sabretooth. Uh, which way is New Orleans? Not that way. I wasn't expecting this to be fake. Oh god, I don't wanna... Why would you do this? People have to play these games. Okay, well we're at New York, so we're a bit of a ways off. Take this Energizer, you're gonna need it very badly. Alright, I'll go up from here, I guess. Oh, yeah. I am Apocalypse Attack. Okay, we can get some more. More energizers. Yeah, it's gonna be halfway emptied out before, like, I get over there. Oh, and they're not pushable either. I can't even wait for more. I just... Okay, yeah, you're not gonna do much. I guess I just need to get the key and leave, then. That works. Oh, uh, actually, I gotta go through those lines on the outside again. This is not gonna last long enough. 
Oh, wow. Okay, we made it through. Very, very intense. The address is updating. Eventually, I'll get to New Orleans. One of these days. I like this giant sidewalk. At least I'm assuming that's what this is. What even curves? Hanger. Like for coats? Blackbird. It's cool that, like, ZZT X-Men games have taught me that that's the name of their little plane thing. I've seen the Blackbird enough now. And what's great is if you showed me a picture of the actual thing and it didn't have a recognizable X-Men character in it, I would have no idea that that's actually the ship. I have no idea what the thing actually looks like. Oh, go. Oh. Brace yourselves, we're coming in. Oh no! I've... I've become trapped in the wreckage. Oh yeah, ZDT is like... Pretty smooth, honestly. It doesn't take much. Okay, I'll just fly here myself. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't think Gambit can fly. That doesn't seem... Correct. Henry LeBeau. Remy, take gear, take this key. It'll help later. Henry, you're dead. I saw you die. I was given the elixir. Now take the key and go. Henry wasn't given the elixir in Gambit 1. Not this game, the comic. Not when he died or any time else. I just wanted to have Henry in the storyline. And by the way, that is how Henry spells his name. Thank you. Yeah, it's generally very low demand. Like, like, the first computer I played ZZT on was a Pentium 1, and I don't recall anything that didn't work well on it. I feel like anything that potentially would probably wasn't happening until the 2000s, but lots of folks even then were still playing on old systems. Sabretooth's Castle. Ooh. Give him a little... <laughs> okay. Uh... I don't think we need to hear that for any longer. I don't have it. Hey, buddy, give me torches. I wonder how well does how well does Z run on some older hardware? I feel like at least during development of that, I was making that on like a pen, a Pentium three, just for the sake of having a, a distraction free environment, aka a computer without internet. Okay, well I'm dead, so I will not be saving here. Okay, what if I just hold up? Maybe I'm supposed to run here through the dark. Closer. Is there a slime here too? Alright, I gotta see what this looks like. Because there were tigers. Okay. So I think the strategy is just, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Did I miss torches? Because that's a miserable board if you can't see. This board with its like five second time limit, thank you. Very necessary. Watch out for pushers and centipedes. And to me that looks red, not yellow, but it might be because there's a red passage, yeah. The end! Oh. Well, you're not kidding. Okay, to be continued. Look for Gambit number two in mid-July. Also look for X-Factor number two at the same time. Do we have an, an X-Factor game? 
No. Unless it's on the queue. There's there's still plenty of X-Men games. And I really don't want to just do a big X-Men stream because even this is one of the better ones. They're all like this. Okay, we do have an X-Factor game. That's good, at least. I've, I've decided to just, like, slowly get through these X-Men games instead. Professor X, thank you for saving me, Gambit, but Sabretooth is still out there. This is only Gambit number one of three. What did I... Oh, right, this is super locked, so, yeah. What I miss is a corrupt board that will kill me. Alright, again, like, as far as X-Men ZZT games go, one of the better ones. A, a lot of these fan games leave a bit to be desired. But surely, if there's one thing ZZT can do right, it's Contra. Which looks like this. Yeah, that was pretty much how it worked. It really is just a case where you just make your friends play it. They're a captive audience. They can't say no. You made a video game. It's 1995, give or take, and you made a video game and you think they're not going to play it? You're 10 years old. Absolutely not. It's the most important thing you've ever done with your life. You know it, and so do they. Okay, so this is a Contra game. It will eventually say Contra, but not on the title screen, apparently. Igloo presents against one. I feel like they could have just scooched up the, the lettering a little bit. That's funny to think of. We're just doubling the number of people who have seen these games. All right, this is Igloo's OO game then. And it looks a lot like Link's Adventure. Doesn't Link's Adventure have these kind of side scrolls? The later ones? This exact color palette is looking real familiar, like. Okay, I'm also getting some uh, Trist the Elf vibes. I guess it's all just more Zelda E things. Oh, okay, there we go. Welcome to Igloo's Contra for ZZT. I hope you enjoy this one. I made some of the board side-scrollers and some overhead, just like the real game. And thanks to whoever made Link's Adventure for ZZT, since that's where I got the idea. Contra. Thank you for the 100 bits. Well... What I like about this game is that I have 400 health. I guess it's kind of, well, it really should have given me 300. I would have loved to start with like 30 lives. Oh, these have any good names? Contra 1. I feel a lot more powerful than I do when I play Contra. That ladder. I'm down this ladder. It's cute, which is not something I usually associate Contra with. I know, it's being, it's being incredibly generous. Oh, that actually looks like a contra -y thing. Whoa. That looks like a big, weird computer-y thing to blow up. Or maybe that's just the base we're going inside? Contra 3. Blam! Contra 4, OV1. Hmm. Who are these guys? AAF guy. Hey man, you ain't no alien, are you? If you are, I'll kill you, man. My name is Jerome Smith. I'm here to kill all them aliens. You with me on this one? Shut up, I work alone. How about I don't give you no help? How do you like that, foo? No, let's be nice. Be nice to Jerome Smith. Right on. Good. 
Here's the key to my portal room, where you can always get some ammo or health. As for me, I'm gonna kill me some aliens. Oh, well, they got that part right. Uh, ooh, I'm noticing every direction is an exit. Um, is there just a puddle of water? Did somebody overturn the mop bucket? Watch out for the contra centipedes. I had NES contra as a kid. Drink a potion. It tasted strange. And ow, man, that's horrible. Ugh. Okay, well, I shouldn't have done that. But other than the NES, the original NES one, I really never played the rest. Other than like five minutes of just dabbling with ROMs. Out this one. Is the red potion the good potion? Tasted funny, but seems to heal you in a strange way. Now, now that time, you, you saw there was a there was a blank spot in the centipede again. But it was in the middle, and there's very clearly none here. Why are the centipedes doing this to me? I always try to be so friendly to them. Will it happen again? No. What was that? Why is this happening? Don't understand. Yeah, I thought that's why I started like running over it back and forth to see if I would make like a jump like a statted empty. Give me torches. Why are you guys not giving me torches? I'm gonna follow this line first. Oh god, is there just is this an incomplete game? Did you forget to put enemies? Uh, we are in the snake shooting gallery part of Contra. Alien target practice. Hit all targets to proceed. I'd rather not if that's okay. What actually happens if I miss? There's an object here to catch the bullet. Dang, I'm good. Okay, I lose five health. Have I seen this before? Oh, maybe. Might be the... the base sequence. Is this also blinking? No, just the water. I'm just gonna leave that off. Oh! Back outside. Oh, I can't go. Well, we'll just see what we missed. I'm not too worried. Hmm. High road or low road? I, I could see that. I don't know what else they'd be going for in like 95. Uh oh. Uh oh. This better not be Roman trivia. Random power-up. Who knows what it will give you. Decide to give you 2,000 points. No, it didn't, actually. I don't think it gave me anything. A message from Igloo. Thanks for downloading this game. This is the end of the shareware version. I know what you're thinking. Why well, register as easy tea game? Well, it is only $5. And you get to import any objects you want, since I won't lock it. And also, you can add as many ports as you want, if you can program. Do whatever you want. I don't care. To find out more about registering, email igloo at AOL. Those are zeros in igloo. I see. There's still... Is this one of these games where it is the full version and it just cuts you off? 
I know we didn't go on that one passage, but surely that doesn't have like 15 boards behind it. Like anything good this time? Five torches. The little lake. Same message, I would assume? Yeah. Okay, well. Volcano. Okay, we got a lot of SDK. Oh, okay, so even the ones that aren't named might have stuff. This doesn't connect to anything, though. <laughs> it, it really has changed things, just uncovering all this stuff. It's the survivorship bias. We only saved the good games. And now we're going back. AAF room. Oh, is this my buddy? Yeah, good to see the Earth... Oh, this is the yellow passage that I probably wanted to go into. Earth people may have a hope after all. Take some ammo and health. It's free after all. Here's a torch for those dark alien infested boards. As for me, I'm off to save the world. Okay, I could have had one torch. And the ammo works. Health works. Does this dump me where I was? Yes. Ooh, Mega ZZT items. Uh, I mean, this is a classic board, of course. I don't want to dabble in here for too long. I just want to see if there's anything we can recognize. The ZZT oops allows you to bridge water. Okay, so that's not the top of the shooting gallery. Mazakala. And we have these guys in the shooting gallery. This is a different bear. He does not limit breakable walls, but otherwise he acts exactly like a bear. No, you're not quite that. Why are there two bears? Oh, that one got me quick. Alright, y'all can play Mega ZZT if you want to see all these great objects in motion. Hundred eleven. More random power-ups. Will I actually get something? One hundred health points. Correct. Good. Okay, so this is back at the crossroads. Igloo. Then. It's kind of like a dude sideways with antenna. So this is Bugsona. I can't really tell what I'm looking at here necessarily. And we've got this volcano. This seems like a whole nother set. Yeah, okay, so this is... So now I'm officially pirating this game, I think. This is like cheating in the shareware version of Doom and getting the BFG, what I'm doing. Right, level 2, Volcano. Don't hurt me, I'll change the lava back. I'm sorry, just get away. I miss the ruffian room, that's for sure. The alarm has been tripped. They're sending lions and tigers at me. I, I like this friendly alien who keeps turning lava into water for us. Okay, this is almost certainly a mega ZZT, dude. No. Oh, this seems to be struggling. That object did not copy properly. Sorry, man. 
A river crossing. Lava crossing. You win. Well, that second level wasn't all that great. You did it, man. Now it's back to Earth for us. All right. Great. Flying wire. And then DDBB. Okay, nothing. 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 Well, not the most Contra-like, but it was it was a ZZT action game. We shot aliens, and we we explored a little base. We conquered a volcano. There was some stuff to it. So let's see here. Ah, uh, yeah, we got one more here, which is actually split up into two files. Yes, correct. We got to start with the X readme. And while you all read that, I'm going to run a quick ad break. All right, I return. And it is now time for the X demo. But first, the readme. which is in ZZT format, although it is also in text format. It's very strange what they did here. They just retyped their readme in ZZT. And, you know, good on them. People are more likely to save this file, and it's not called, like, readme.txt. The X-Demo version, copyright 1999. Warning! Do not edit our files or distribute them without our direct permission. Thank you. Okay, for those of you who are fluent in ZZT, you can go ahead and skip this section. If you just got ZZT or don't know how to install new games, then you should read this. To install this game, simply unzip all the files into your main ZZT directory. Okay. I mean, clearly they already did, if they've gotten this far. This is the beefy part of the readme. Do not distribute any of New Line Gaming's ZZT files without direct permission from New Line Gaming. You can contact New Line's ZZT work crew at the website. Contact information is listed below. For permissions, email Joker. For flames, email flyingmonkeys at mail.com. For suggestions and game ideas, Joker. For hiring info, Joker. Yes, we are already in game, and yet... It's, there's just, you know, a spare copy for some weird reason. It really weird that they made that a separate file and not just, like, a board in the main game saying, like, hey, don't steal our stuff. Send me an email. So here we go. X-Demo, New Line Gaming, 1999. This game is rated T for teen. So... Any 12-year-olds in chat, get out of here. Oh, we can even quit from the menu. Yep. We sure can. Uh-oh. Oh, the file name's renamed. It's saying Project X. Okay, so this is going to be one of those games where the demo was just a renamed file, then. Uh, do we have a catalog? There's no passage. Ah, okay. X demo is free. X is not available. Nova Awakening, not available. One day. All right, what are we in for here? What is this X I've heard so much about? Wake's hideout. Story of the game. You are a soldier for hire, and a group called Quake has hired you to help them on their infiltration of an enemy base. Quake is a group of rebels. Even though Quake is against the government, you have decided to help them because they pr they have promised you a fat wallet after the job. See, so we're, we're pro-government, but we're more pro-money. Quaker won. Oh no, are we... Are we actually working for the Quakers? I hope you're ready. Hey, by the way, what's your name? I'm Max. Will. Cool. Have you met Elizabeth? She told me that she likes you. 
Ellipses. <laughs> Romance. Off to a great start already. I will take the supplies after I choose not to. You ready for the mission? No. You better get ready, because we're going to kick some butt. Okay. Now I'm ready. Good. Good. That's what they're saying. They're saying ellipses. Hi, I haven't had a chance to get your name. Will. I'm Elizabeth. I'm kind of Quake's computer person. I don't like to use guns and bombs, but I don't like the government either. Boy, <laughs> if I had a nickel... See? What? Nothing. Yeah. See you later. Meet me in one of the ships in the shipyard. I'll be there with the rest of Quake. Okay, see you there. Good computer, it goes beep boop. Ooh, we get us some things to explore for a change. This is a, a lot more open-ended than everything else we've seen today already. Scrap metal. All right, let's check out some buildings. Any help with the bar? Okay. Very blue. Hi. Hi. Name's Amy. I'm Will. Nice meeting you. You too. Meet me at one of the ships in the shipyard. Okay, whatever, bye. Go away, I'm eating. And if we go... Behind the bar? We get yelled at by a cook. This must be the stove. Yeah. It must be. So there's no bartender, though. It's just the cook. Okay, we can go shopping. How much, what do we get for our five coins? Ten ammo. That's a little pricey, but... And lastly, until we find this mysterious blue key... Garbage? This building is closed. Please leave. Which way is the shipyard? Oh, that's cute. Is that... Area 13, is that a box being shipped on a conveyor? This game is also extremely blue. What do you need? I need to buy a building. I want to buy a building. I'm sorry, but no ordinary person can just buy a building. Stop wasting my time. Very well. I, I will be so excited if we get to buy a building. The workery. Oh, why did you die? Not now. I've got to supervise the conveyors. I love this world building. I can't wait to find out what the government's been doing. Oh, the city hall has been shut down because the city leaders have given control of the city to the new republic. More like the Blue Republic. Oh, is this just the other half of the building? Okay. That, that makes my job a little faster. I'm assuming we don't go in these buildings. Otherwise, we're going to be in for it with this game. Still not a shipyard. I'm sorry, but I cannot let anyone through without permission from Adam. If you have any questions, I'll answer them for you now. Who the heck is Adam? 
Adam is, or rather used to be, the city's main official. But since he gave control of the city to the New Republic, no one likes him anymore. And that is why I'm here guarding him. We get the classic typo. If you're playing the ZZT drinking game, you have to take a drink here. How much are you paid? Not enough. I have some advice. Yeah, for a price. Alright, give me advice. Good, he didn't take any money. There's a combination lock later in your quest. I only know the first two numbers. Three and six. I see. Gonna eat us along real quick here. Do some power walking. Oh, look at these ships. This must be the shipyard. Six for rent, ten coins. Siri and I stock and bay for details on the shipyard renting. Guess this is our ship? What's over to the left then? More ships. Okay, then let's check out this one. Better not be a ship. It is. It's a very empty ship. Get the hell out of my ship before I blow your head off. He stabbed me. The ship's control panel. On typos today. Alright, well, I should probably get out of here now that I've killed somebody. I didn't think you were going to show. Well, here I am. Let's go into the ship here. I have friends in there. Okay. So that's our ship, huh? Oh man, how big is this city? I don't know if I should be going into the ship. Or if I should be exploring the docking bay. There's too many options. We're here. What now? Hang out. Meet the people. But you're not leaving. Don't worry. And why the hell not? We're Quake. Cool. What? Cockpit. Radar and scanner systems. Pilot James. A lot of small talk. So we're going to steal this ship or what? In a little while. Oh, okay, we just... Boy, I feel silly about shooting that man and the other one because we've already got a ship to steal. Hi, so, so. Why'd you come up here? I don't have a reason. That's right. Conversation over. Cargo bay. We have some cargo doors. And Max. Okay. Gosh, all these great written women in this. Great. Great written women. Uh. Okay. I, I guess we did steal the ship. Oh, thank you. Dark Trooper. I'll take up some passport. I belong to an organization called the Dark Troops. Oh, infinite passports. Um. So the Dark Troopers don't seem to be attacking us. So are they like... On our side? I worry about the Dark Troops. 
Better be careful. I don't want to get shot. It looks like either side is just blasting away. Says Duper. Alright, at least they acknowledge the fact that nobody gives a shit if they shoot the ZZT player. I, I genuinely don't know who I should be shooting here. Not a lot of action here. I'm just an average commander in the services on Steel Fist. Okay, this guy's name is Bad Commander, so I guess the green guys are the bad guys. Hey, he doesn't care. Big ship? No. Building? Nasty looking building. Ah. Uh. Oh, fake key. They got me. Okay, real key found. Uh, watch out for the slime. That spreads. <laughs> it does look like this place would be full of Roman trivia. Uh, I don't remember what those digits were that guy told me about. It was like 3-6? I didn't write that down. I should have. I wish I knew what was, like, going on. There's rebels and a mean government, but, like, nothing is happening relevant to that. I need health. Oh, it costs money. I mean, I guess you're a clerk. But I wish you told me. About this crumbled building. No, don't go in there. Yeah, there's a girl? Will they, won't they? Ah, uh, this isn't an entrance either. As it's busted up so bad, no one can get through. War is hell, I guess is the moral here. Great, great job making some blown up buildings here. Ah! Okay, the jail is intact. Oof. This place was hit, too. Oh, good! Found the guy who's been hogging all the blue keys. Prisoner. Thank you for freeing me. Here, take this as your reward. 20 gems and 10 bullets. The combination lock that needs to be broken. I only know the last two digits. Four and five. Thank you. All right, what are the police up to? Yeah. This place looks like a tornado hit it. It looks like a bomb went off in here. Can't go to the item store. What's left of it? Uh, does this count as a puzzle? I can shoot on this board, so I don't even need these bombs, actually. But I don't have that much ammo. Something like that. I I do not know how 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 far away I have to stand for bombs. I just rely on the vibe every time. Oh, okay. That's what this game is now, huh? I don't need to get blown up. This is gonna be slow. Anything? Nothing else. Just, just a lot of bombs. I see how this is fifty boards now. I think we're making good time, though. Oh! Okay, 
Okay. What? Oh, 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 was that this one new? Yeah, everybody, nobody was on beds before. Okay. So this is like, uh, shitty turmoil. It's the vibe I'm getting now. We fly around in our ship, we do a thing, we get back to our ship, rinse and repeat, but it has none of the charm. Why don't you go to sleep? I'll see you in the morning. This is the bedroom. Please don't wake Amy. What's she up to, Max? Nothing, really. I do have a question, and that is... Do you like Elizabeth? Ooh, someone's got a crush. I I really don't know what to what to say here. I'm gonna deny it. I think I'm gonna do both. You don't? Nope. Oh well, see you tomorrow. You too. See you tomorrow. Maybe I like Amy. Did you ever think of that? Hmm. Alright, what if I confess my, my true feelings for Elizabeth? You do? Yeah. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> you too. Listen, who's who in chat? Who is on Team Amy and who is on Team Elizabeth? It's, it's very hard to decide, I know. Um... That's dangerous. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, what? Why did I think that was gonna trap me? Seal. Quiet. You're deep in enemy territory. Is that all they can say? Is this a sneaking mission? Should I just not go near these guys? Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're strong. Too strong. <laughs> I mean, that's it's difficult to walk through forests without making noise. It's true to life. It's a realistic game. Oh, I saw a blinking off from like the last game from Contra. Gates unlocked. It opens with a creak. I was supposed to be quiet. Some kind of poisonous plant. Now it's dark. Oh, okay. Is this one of the bad ones? Yes, good. Is that three I need to set it to? Yeah. Oh, can I see the next one? Yes. So one more, so six, yeah, three, six. And I was told four, five, and I hope that's all the digits. Good. Four, five, torches for good luck. And this was our push button, or was it the one above there? No, we're good. Great. It worked. Was indeed the four and the five. I like that it had some spacing between the numbers. And yet it was, still wasn't enough to not be able to just see the solution. Uh, oh. Hole in the wall down there. I don't have a lot of ammo. Maybe I can get these guys to...
Yeah, you hang out there. Perfect. Is this anything? It's busted. Oh, okay. Uh, an air vent. Maybe I can crawl through. Oh, I, oh, I love that little truck. That is adorable. That is such a good truck. End of demo. Sorry to announce that this is the end of the game. Full game will be available in a while. Check the site often for demo updates. Yes, we will have upgrades available for our demos too. With that, you can either look through our catalog or you can quit the game. Give me that catalog. Yeah, okay, we've seen this. Oh no, now it's advertising ZZT Helper also. So what do we miss? Ten boards, huh? That, I, I was being a bit mean, calling it shitty turmoil, but that wasn't too bad, honestly. Stars. Yes. It could use a little more work here, but it, honestly, not nothing awful. Adam's house. Oh, well, we'll never get in there. Adam's house. Ship zero. Okay, nothing. Docking bay. See the docking bay office for more information. Oh yeah, I didn't go here like at all. What do you need? Passport. Ten coins. But you didn't give me anything. No passport. Fine. I'll get my passport elsewhere. Okay, can't do anything here. This is an interesting thing to include, because it doesn't seem to matter for anything. Okay, this might be some world building here in Area 8. Sorry, but areas 765432 and 1 are closed due to terrorist activity. I'll never know. Objects. Three of bombs. What? Yikes. Don't scare me like that. Uh, I think that's going to be it then. Yep. Quick game. I mean, yeah, that was just your usual ZZT action adventure with a little sci-fi theme. Nothing... It felt very generic, is the thing. But it didn't seem terrible or nothing. Alright, that was a... Uh, I think we got a fun little set there. We had a, a number of surprises. Loved that Roman trivia. I can't believe that was as exciting as it ended up being. Our Death Squad was a, a surprisingly competent Barney-like. Contra at least looked okay. Gambit was just some more X-Men. Nothing too wild there. And then that X-Demo. Nothing... Nothing too wild, but nothing too terrible either today, I would say. I think one of these dudes... Her name did come up. Oh, okay, Igloo. Igloo of uh, the Contra game. Also made The Simpsons Adventure and Igloo Magazine. So that's fun. Okay, so that's like nothing I was familiar with, but... Looks like a fun magazine. Flipping through it real quick here. All right. That is going to do it for this week, then. Uh, we will be back again on Friday. Always, always happy to Death Squad. 
We'll be back again next Friday. We're going to continue playing Dave's Freelance Dungeon. I think we should be able to finish that. It might end up going slightly longer than usual, but I think it's more likely to be a two-parter than a three-parter. And then we'll be back again on Sunday with some yet more undiscovered, unpreserved ZZT worlds. Maybe we'll find some more great trivia games, but probably not. As always, if you enjoy the stream, give a follow or a subscription if you can. If you're feeling particularly daring, you can always support on Patreon at patreon.com slash worlds is easy to you, or, you know, all these bajillion URLs here and there. And that's, uh, that's all I got. So thank you all for watching, and hope to see you next time. Later. <laughs>